Good morning. Here is today's word of blessings for you. James 1 19-22. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. Today's title is How to Tame the Anger. People are getting angrier than ever. We are experiencing anger daily everywhere. When you drive on the road, you could encounter road rage. When you are at work, you can face angry co-workers who became highly hysterical by either stress from overwork or from boredom. At home, we often get confrontational children. We desperately look for some comfort and peace from husbands and wives, but we only find them exhausted and frustrated. How do you keep the peace and comfort in your mind? Where do you find true rest and peace? But we are Christians. Yes, but we are not immune from the lure of anger at all. One of the last things for a pastor to do is not to be able to contain his anger. But I confess that I was a pastor wasn't able to contain my anger at times. The book of James was a letter written to the believers scattered around the nations. They were going through fiery trials and temptations. They have been persevering, but they get defeated off and on. They often get quick-tempered for each other. Sometimes they exchange explosive words. We also live in such a volatile world. How can we maintain our inner peace and composure as a child of God? James's advice to the diaspora of his time is for us too. First, know that human anger never produces what God desires. We often get angry to get things done our way. But if it takes anger in us to get it done, God never gets glorified with it. Second, train the godly way of behaviors and practice it. Our God is quick to forgive and slow to anger. He is also long suffering. We should also be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry. Thirdly, purify us from all moral filth and evil that has sneaked in us from the world. Such worldly desires drive us into greed. Unfulfilled greed breeds frustration and anger. Most of all, humbly accept the word planted to you. In other words, trust in the Lord and humbly obey his words day to day. Then, you can surely tame the anger that destroys our joy.